Welcome to Hope Channel International. This video explains the symbolic meaning of garments in the Bible. Let me ask you this question because, um, I mean, when, when you ask what's this church doing right, what's the commendation, the answer in this case is not very much, which is the surprise for a lot of people who treasure the Protestant Reformation. But then, um, God does mention, you've got something that remains, He says. You have received some truth. Remember what you have received and heard. They, they have the elements necessary for success, but then God goes on to mention twice in verse 4, you have some who have not defiled their garments. That's kind of a commendation. He who overcomes in verse 5 will be clothed in white garments. Garments, garments, garments comes up many times. What's the symbolism of garment in Bible prophecy? The garment is key. It is absolutely key. In fact, in Zechariah chapter 3, we don't have time to go there and read it, but our, re our listeners can go and read it. Zechariah 3 makes this portrayal. It is a judgment scene. Jesus is there, Satan is there, and then Joshua the high priest is there. This is not the Joshua from the book of Joshua. This is Joshua the high priest, and he is wearing filthy garments. And Satan is making his accusation against him with those filthy garments. And Jesus in, invites beings to put on a clean garment on him. And this is the whole key of the gospel message. So he doesn't actually say to Joshua, go scrub your garment. He's given a clean one. He is given a clean garment. And this is why in Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 18, the Bible says, God speaking to us, come now and let us reason together, says the Lord, though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. And so the clean garment is a, is a analogy to the righteousness of Christ. And it is only cleansed, not by our own doing. We can't cleanse our own garment. It's all about Jesus through his blood. And, and it's kind of an irony, through his red blood, making us white as snow. How do you make something white with red? Only in Jesus. Only in Jesus. And 1 John 1, 9 promises, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. But then it goes on, and sometimes we don't quote this part of it, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Jesus, the whole it's really the whole issue of the great battle versus good, of good and evil is Jesus wants to cleanse us from our sin and unrighteousness. Okay, now this is going to prove important. This thought, I think, is going to translate into the reward that's offered, and we're going to have to take a break, but this is giving me goosebumps.